The coronavirus crisis has impacted on the lives of each one of us. The staff team in Nightingale Hammerson have rallied together with a joyful spirit to ensure that we continue to provide the highest level of care for our residents. One of our care ambassadors, Clemens, defines what it is that motivates him in his role as head of nursing. He says, my motivation to come in every day is the same as it's always been. I'm passionate about the care for our residents. It's in my core, it's in my blood. Kindness is the foundation of all that we do. And this has found expression in a willingness from the non-clinical staff to step out of their normal role and to be adaptable and flexible in ensuring the sustainable delivery of our core services. In responding to phone calls at reception, assisting the laundry team, providing room service, assisting residents with specific needs, providing backup support with the housekeeping team. <laughs> Through these acts of kindness, we are getting to know each other better, gaining insight into each other's roles and enriching the quality of our residents' lives. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. You can count on me cause I can count on you. What has been the impact on our residents? At the beginning of the lockdown period, the residents were largely unaware of what was happening in the wider world. The initial impact of this cruel virus started to be felt when the residents were denied access to their usual social meeting points. The activity hub, the synagogue, the hairdresser, the garden cafe and the shop. Other ways of living differently had to be introduced, such as being confined to their rooms with meals being provided by a tray service, dealing with the social constraints of distancing outside of their rooms, and sadly having to confront the reality that some of their friends had died of this illness. The engagement team continued to spread a little happiness on a daily basis by accommodating the residents' needs and preferences. This has included celebratory events for VE Day, Israel Independence Day and Shavuot, virtual musical concerts from our partners Live Music Now, sports activities, birthday celebrations, resident-led old-time music hall troupe, and creative arts engagement. Our greatest challenge has been to overcome residents' feelings of isolation as they are denied the physical presence of friends and family. What we would give to be able to hug again. Once you notice kindness, you see its green shoots everywhere. Over the period of lockdown, strong seedlings of kindness had emerged such as donations from our local community, which have been received with great warmth. This has included Helpful Engineering, who gave us 600 face visors, South London Scrubbers, who gave us hundreds of masks and gowns, and our representative from the Armed Forces, who provided the long-awaited testing resources. Rafi, a religious coordinator, has lived continuously within the home during the lockdown period. He has provided opportunities, despite restrictions, for our community to continue to celebrate Jewish tradition. He's helped residents hold on to their faith as a deep source of strength. This has been particularly evident in the precious moments when he was able to provide comfort to families while the loved ones were dying. 
the flickering flame of the Shiva candle reminds us that as we celebrate the lives of those who have left this world, they're still very much present. And that in Nightingale Hammerson, one is never alone. <laughs>